And this video is about converting a color image over to a vector format image. As you can see, I've selected a little B here. So he's got basically four colors, well, five colors if you count the gray tone in the, in the mouth. All you do when you have this image in is you right click on it, go to your outline trace and choose the clip art option. Once again, you go, go through and make sure that you have the detail level that you want. If it's all good, I still remove the background color, just as I did before, and hit OK. Then you drag the new vector image off to the side. This here is the bitmap image. This is the vector image. At this point, I like to do an ungroup all. And then I left click on the clear color, which means there is no color. And I right click on the black. So now I see all my outlines. One of the things that's important to do when you're doing multiple colors and converting it to a vector is that you need to get rid of overlapping lines. Well, overlapping lines happens to be lines such as this one. You only want one set of lines. It just the way the multiple color conversion works. So you just need to get rid of them. One of the easiest ways to see if there are any overlapping colors is you set your, your outline color to white and your fill color to black. Kind of lets you see where some of the lines are. If you've got fully filled in areas where you don't want to etch, then you know you have a overlay line. So in this case, this should be clear. This should be clear. You've got your eyes. And actually, we're going to remove these instead. Then you got some issues with the mouth here. Again, if we want to take a closer look at our colored image, you just kind of kind of figure out what areas you actually want to engrave. So in this case, these are the black lines and these are the yellow lines. So we're going to get rid of that and that and that and that as well. And we'll clean up the mouth a little bit too. For now, I'm just going to do this so you can kind of see how the correct cleanup is done. And I kind of did that a little backwards. So I'm going to undo and get rid of this one here. As you can see, it's not exactly a perfect science. So you might have to do a little bit of messing around. In this case, you might actually want to put these eyes back on here. Which you can grab it by the nodes, kind of put them back in place. So now I've got a little bit of an issue because of that gradient in the mouth area. So I'm actually going to get rid of these colors right here. And I'm going to double click this, which will put me into node editing mode or, or vector editing mode. I'm going to drag a point out here. Right click on here and uh, I'm going to leave that where it's at. And I'm just going to kind of recreate the mouth of the bee, like so. And this one as well. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And pull that down there. And straighten this one out a little bit. Just kind of adjust these points. So I got the mouth of the bee. And I can go back and select these other elements and get rid of them. Oops. Except for that one, I couldn't get rid of that one. In this case, I've got to go back into node editing, clean these points up as well. And I'm just 
smooth them out a little bit. And there we've got our B outline. At this point, you can go get rid of all the other objects if you're satisfied where it's at. And your little B is ready for etching. So all and it's in a vector format, so you can size it down, size it up. Oh, you notice the eyes moved. So the one thing you would have to do here is highlight everything and group it again. So now when you resize, everything will move and resize along with everything else. And that is how you convert a color vector into something you can laser. Now if you wanted to be real creative here, you could actually fill in the wings with different colored material, like maybe a clear acrylic here, black acrylic for the black lines, and a yellow acrylic for the yellow lines. Any number of things that you can do. Hope this helps.